An overwhelming body of scientific evidence clearly demonstrates that the Earth is warming. The past decade was the warmest on record. Scientific models predict the next 10 years will be even warmer and that world average temperature will continue to rise anywhere between 3 to 11 degrees in this century. Surface air and ocean temperatures are rising, setting in motion wide-ranging changes to the planet. Polar ice is melting at record rates. Glaciers around the globe are in retreat, and sea levels are rising. Ecosystems everywhere are changing as plant and animal species adapt to a warmer planet. Here, in the Pacific Northwest, our forest, wildlife, and water resources are being transformed by climate change. How will the Forest Service respond to the challenges of climate change? Just as it has for over a century, through readiness and response, and continuing their mission of caring for the land and serving people. The Forest Service will continue working to ensure our national forest and private working lands are conserved, restored, and made more resilient to climate change. Winter storms accumulate in the mountains, creating life-supporting frozen reservoirs. At most stations in the Pacific Northwest, snowpack has declined between 13 to 29 percent over the last 60 years. Projected snowpack losses in the next 100 years range up to 50 percent. Snowpack is crucial for summer water supply. However, warmer annual temperatures and earlier spring thaws are causing snow to melt earlier and from higher elevations. Rain on snow also decreases snowpack, pushing peak river flows earlier in the year, making streams warmer. Healthy, cool running streams are crucial for returning salmon and resident trout. Declining snowpack means less water in the summer months when demands are highest for irrigation and hydropower. The Forest Service has developed a roadmap to incorporate climate change into agency operations. To become climate change smart, each forest has formed teams to develop their own climate change response strategy. Teams report annually on their progress through a climate change scorecard. A vulnerability assessment toolbox is being developed to measure decreased snowpack, reduced stream flow, and rising stream temperatures. The toolbox is being expanded to gauge drought stress insect damage, disease and fire, as well as the social and economic dimensions of forests under a changing climate. Satellites circling the Earth are monitoring forest response to climate change. Findings show that an increasingly warmer climate is affecting forests of the Pacific Northwest. Milder winters are causing trees to bud earlier. A major shift in species distribution is already taking place. Up to 500 miles latitude of change in growing conditions is expected. While warmer, wetter conditions west of the Cascades are promoting forest growth, higher temperatures east of the Cascades, where rainfall is scarce, deplete soil moisture 
making trees more vulnerable to disease and insect attack. A tiny parasite about the size of a grain of rice is devastating forest and transforming entire landscapes. The mountain pine beetle attacks older and disease-weakened trees. Outbreaks occur in overcrowded stands. Increasingly mild winters and warmer summers are causing more drought stress to trees, promoting the beetle's survival and reproductive success, leading to more infestations and expansion of its range to higher elevations. Warmer summer temperatures and decreasing soil moisture are causing increased drought conditions east of the Cascades. Drought years produce low fuel moisture and high flammability. These conditions, combined with trees killed by disease and insect attack, are fueling more frequent and hotter forest fires. Projected higher summer temperatures will likely increase the annual window of high fire risk by 10 to 30 percent. Each national forest in the Pacific Northwest region is actively responding to climate change, assessing vulnerabilities, and developing new strategies to contend with an uncertain future. Efforts include thinning trees to reduce drought stress in forest, and planting seedlings that are better adapted to a warmer climate. Reducing carbon emissions through sustainable operations is an important response strategy. The Edith Green Building in Portland is the new home of the U.S. Forest Service in the Pacific Northwest and a model for sustainable and energy efficient buildings. Designed to achieve LEED Platinum certification for its use of cutting edge sustainable design and technology. By working together through science, management, and partnerships with other agencies, the Forest Service will ensure our national forest and private working lands are conserved, restored, and made more resilient to climate change.